my beautiful vloggies. This is Fatty Bule, the vlogging grandmother. Welcome to my channel. My channel is about everything to do with life, including my music, grandmotherly advice, and also my interviews with people from all walks of life called Life with Patty Bule, which talks about their failures and successes and how they deal, dealt with that. So, if you want to join one of my beautiful, if you want to be one of my beautiful vloggies, time to just subscribe over there and don't forget to also ring that bell. I want to talk to you about life. Have you ever asked yourself what life is all about? Well, many people do. You know, I, I was asked recently and the first thing that came to mind is that it is the greatest gift that God can give us. And that is that breath we take in and out, which means life. I'm not talking about afterlife, that's the spirit. I'm talking about life here on earth. What is the value of life? You see, ah, uh, it's too great. It's too great to measure. No one can put value to life. I mean, it's everything. If you're alive, you can do anything. You have one chance at it and it's very short. It really is incredible, isn't it? I mean, do you ever think about it? I mean, I don't know how I can explain life except I can tell you how I see it. Okay, it's so precious. We don't know. It's the one thing we don't know when it's going to be taken from us. It's... It leaves me in awe, you know? Um, you begin, but you look at a baby, you look at a baby and the way it grows. Or you look at a fetus and how it develops. It's magic like no other. It, it's just, oh my goodness. You see what I mean? It, it's so awesome, you can't even describe it. But one thing it does is the more you think about it, the more your soul just swelled with the idea of life is it being rich what is that i mean some people say well you know life is about being rich really well i can tell you i have gone to some people's house that are very very rich there's no soul it is cold as a matter of fact it's got nothing, which is incredible. I don't know if you're like me, I analyze everything. I mean, you know, I want to know what life is about. I want to know what I can get from it. I want to know what makes it special. I want to know where the magic of life is. Can you find it in taking drugs? No. Can you find it in alcohol? No. Can you find it in what I'm wearing? No. Um, because, okay, boy, you know, I wish I could talk to you. I wish you could talk back because this could be a discussion. Because being rich, you can't take it with you. When life is over, you end up with nothing, okay? Is it about being popular? <laughs> that makes me laugh. Is it about being popular? Hell no. Popular to who? To yourself? To others? Forget that. Others? Come on, guys. You have seen celebrities, okay? It's like once you become famous or in people's eyes rich, you may not be rich, but in their eyes you're rich, they want to tear you down. Why do you want to be popular to those people? That's what I want to know. You want to do what you are created for. We all have a role in this life. Some people sweep the street, some people fly aeroplanes, some people heal others, some people just cause trouble. Some people just want to destroy life. Some people want to build on life. Some people want to enhance life. Some people are born to rule. Some people are just, you know, there are so many roles. So, to me, just, what you want to do is be yourself, look around you, 
okay keep your sanity by being yourself is it about being highly educated i don't know about that because where does education get you it is meant to be for communication okay you you learn to read and write you learn to read and write that is fantastic because we can communicate if we can read and write millions of languages dialects around the world you cannot learn all of them if you want to be highly educated tell me you can speak every single language on earth then i will believe you highly educated is a term we use to make ourselves seem higher than others it's absolute nonsense because with that education you end up six feet under six feet under just like me just like those who are not so highly educated like yourself okay or is it about being an expert expert at what did you create life did you create me can you create me i know they're trying but you cannot guys you can only regurgitate what has been created nespa am i wrong no when you want to create something, you create it from something that has been created already. You cannot create anything from start. Everything around you is alive. You see this body. My entire body is a moving part. It's incredible. And I mean myself. Even the tiny little blood capillaries inside me are moving parts. That is awesome. But what is amazing, it's also that those can just be in one second, shut down. End of story. <laughs> is it about being perfect? Perfect, where? Perfect, perfect. Guys, what is perfect? What is perfect? Let's take basic things, food, okay? Now we have cookery programs everywhere. So your food now looks like you could frame it. Do you know what I mean? Well, I don't know about you, but Patty likes to keep it real. Slap my food on my plate just the way I want it. I want it to taste good. I don't want it to look good. See, we're in a superficial world where everything has to be perfect. And then it drives us crazy because we cannot control it. We still have to suffer failures. We still have to suffer illnesses. We still have to suffer, well, we have success, but we still have to suffer disappointments. Perfect. Can you control it? So why beat yourself over it? Just be the best you can. Do you know what I mean? Be the beautiful human being you're created. Beautiful. Every single person, in my eyes, if you're walk, walking, breathing, you know, even if you're, you cannot walk, if you're breathing, you have the breath of God in you. To me, that's perfection. Because when it ends, okay, then there's another name for it. It's just called dead. It's called death. It's called the end. Yeah? So perfection, don't drive yourself crazy over perfection. You look at YouTube like this, okay? There are so many. Okay, we used to have perfect, perfect produced programs, documentaries on television and perfectly placed. You don't get any message from it. It's actually dead. It just You just get information. You don't get anything that will help enhance your life. Sometimes you think you do because people are good at bamboozling us, yeah? So you... <laughs> So you, life is about taking control. It begins and starts with you. Your life begins and ends with you. Mine begins and ends with me. I cannot blame anyone else for anything that happens in my life. Yes, if I'm unhappy, I will make it known. So, what really is life? It's so simple. Do you know in the Bible, I remember one of the disciples asking the Lord Jesus, what is heaven like? And he took a child, a child. One of these, a child. So to me, I, that for me was an example of where to look, simplicity. Life is about being real. It's not about money, popularity, fame, 
name it, whatever you else you want to throw at it that is not under your control but under other people's control. Life is me. Life is us. That's real. You know, you and me, we're real. I don't care what shape you're in, we are real. I don't care whether you're tall, fat, thin, short, we are real. You're breathing. We are real. And you need to make this life special. And to make it special, it's not about chasing after money and then you, you drop dead chasing after money. And then those that you have left behind have nothing of you to remember. When your life is over, how do you want to be remembered? You want to be loved. You want someone, someone, somewhere to think about you. Someone, somewhere to say something good about you. And even if they, you know, it's someone somewhere to acknowledge that you actually existed. That is so wonderful. Life, again to me, it's about being kind. For that reason, how people remember you, it's the legacy that you leave behind. You know you have problems. Oh, and when you have those problems, make it known, okay? Do not be politically correct about your problems because it will, it will drive you to the grave, seriously. Because the other people cannot see what your problems are. But you can be kind in the way that you portray it. As a matter of fact, you can be kind. Well, if you're like me, you, I take it, I take everything in. I take everything in and I smile. Unfortunately, it just piles, 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 piles. Kaboom! <laughs> it explodes. And then I start again and it piles, 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 piles. But in all of that, you can be kind and smile. You know, kindness is making somebody else's life special. That's kindness. Did you know what I mean? When people, when people see you, when they hear you, when they, you know, the, your message, your words, everything. I, okay, let me tell you how I feel about this, how I handle this. I pray that the Holy Spirit will be right here in my thoughts in my words, be in my heart, okay? In everything that I do. So when I speak to you, the Holy Spirit will speak to your spirit. If you don't have a spirit, that's different. Okay, if you don't have a spirit, you won't be hearing me anyway. But you're a spiritual being going on a physical journey just like me, and our communication is, is kindness. Finally, humility. Oh, being humble. Being humble is everything. Being humble makes you great. Being humble. People think that being humble belittles you. Who, who no, honey? Being humble makes you great. The people who are small are the ones who think they know everything. Come on. You know those are idiots, don't you? Anyone that thinks he knows and everything or she thinks she knows everything, I can tell you that's a fool. That is the biggest fool on earth. The ones who don't know and just look at the universe in awe, that's humanity. Doesn't matter how much money you accumulate, you still end up six feet under. That should make you humble. No matter how much money you have, you cannot. Do you know, even they're now trying to create people to live, I don't know, so you can bring them back to life. Organic, we are organic creatures, excuse me. Anything can, you just, you bring it back to life. Poof, you put a, an explosion there and it's gone. Be humble, be humble. See, be humble because you know there's a greater being than yourself. And in being humble, you will be whole. You'll be beautiful. you have a wonderful spirit. you have such a happy life you won't believe. You won't be needing drugs because you don't want anything greater than, than really you're working hard for. You don't because you cannot achieve it. You cannot achieve it. You know what I want to I want to grow wings and fly. I can't do it. I am not God. That makes me humble. So guys, be kind. Be humble. Keep it real in this time of superficial living.
keep it real for your sanity god bless you all i love you all my vloggies and i'll be speaking to you again soon take care now love you bye